Hello there folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel, a place where I discuss on different topics like spirituality, dream interpretation, well, game interpretation, game design and well, several other topics. Now, I decided to create a little uh, RPG Maker uh, tutorial on how to create your own character and this time I'm going to tackle uh, something similar, I'm gonna create uh, for this playable character in my game, I'm gonna create a um, another set of portraits because, well, she will have a different other condition, okay? So, in that condition, she will look pretty similarly, okay? Now, in order to handle character creation, there is this beautiful button and there you have, you have the character creator now, in the character creator, you can simply handle uh, male, female, and uh, kid creation. Um, unless you buy certain DLCs, uh, for kids you only have female, if I remember correctly. Um, yes, you only have one face, and yes, you kind of have children, uh, only female children. Um, well, it's not much of a problem, because it's kind of pixel game, so... If you give them certain hairs, uh, you, people may not easily distinguish in between a girl and a guy, like you won't necessarily give them a very long rare hair or something like this. And well, from certain angles they might actually look like a guy or like a boy. But for now I'm interested in actually loading, uh, let's see, the character's name is Miyumi, so oh wait, I actually, actually need to find this name in here, so I need to actually find uh, which one should I actually have Mumi Raincoat mm, okay let's actually take two so this one is Miyumi in her school outfit okay so I need to switch to the second one which is this one okay and in order to do this, okay, now basically what happens is my characters, three of the five playable characters are capable of committing murder if and only if the player chooses this path and well of course there will be repercussions as well. So the point is, okay, after that occurs there will be a change in the appearance of the characters and namely their uh, clothing which when you load the character it also loads uh, your choices whether you have certain choices like this character doesn't wear accessories and such uh, the character may actually wear glasses okay so let's actually do the change so you know red clothing because it's technically bloodstained now of course the entire clothing will be made red uh, you know, it should be something like, well, um, just a bit of it maybe, or I don't know exactly. When you create a character, you also create how the character looks, so, mm, let's see. Ah, okay, that thing actually is red, yes, and this one colors the hole, and this one... This one, I really... Oh yes, the boots. Uh, the boots should stay black, let's say. And, well, let's say that blood stains. Well, let's say that actually everything is red. Okay, so when this happens, you choose... Well, there are a lot of things that you need to pick from here. You know, it's not that hard of a point. You just have to click whichever of the feature suits your characters, there is an, a whole array of colors that you can choose for your hairs and you know, you also have how they would look in the corresponding portrait as well as, you know, uh, in the movement part, okay, this is the movement part, uh, how the character will look while they're moving, because this is technically the movement animation, it's made out of three um, steps, let's say. Okay, and they're cycled every time the character's moving and you know like face 
front like front view side views and from the back this is how they would look if they are an NPC and you know they are dead or very wounded and this one this part here is the battle animations some are you know like in case they have a severe uh, condition like I don't know paralyzed stun here when they are defeated but your party is not fully defeated so you can revive them when they dodge when they attack you know this is the animation when they are waiting for an action to be done uh, casting you know there are a lot of things um, naturally we have these two years this one is from a DLC which I don't remember exactly what was um, there are numerous faces but for now I'm gonna be you know like guiding myself off of these okay so I don't want this guy to actually be very long so what you do is basically you uh, call face image and then you say export okay now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna import my own because I already have a, I already have a picture and I'm gonna call these characters okay so it's gonna be Miyumi too and we also have bloody to add okay now I'm gonna copy this so that it's uh, rem oh wait actually yes I'm gonna copy this delete this one and open and now what I'm technically doing I'm gonna override this one with this one but wait I actually forgot something uh, that the eyes also become red if I don't remember correctly her eyes become actually red okay now we're gonna call this one again and we're gonna export it but we're gonna export it with this name okay so now we need to create this face okay when we create that face it's basically so the same eyes and just the mouth is open so we have uh, something like this I could say let's import uh, Mumi bloodied yes and you can simply put it one over the wait there is something there is something fishy going on here the uniform is not the same um, let's say import mew me uh, mew me 3 open yeah actually it is this one okay so um, So it's basically this one that should be uh, it's basically this one that should be changed not the other one okay so in order to change this one I actually need to create let's say this face okay so this face is basically eyes closed which is like this so let's see we import this again and nothing is changed so the facial expression and the such is still the same Okay, so now we're gonna export this as Miyumi 3 uh, Bloodied, okay? Miyumi 3 Bloodied, okay, good. We're gonna copy this because we're gonna need it. And let's see, uh, now we need this mouse, okay? So when we put this mouse, it's this one. Import again, open, and you put it on over the other several times and you can see it's basically the same thing okay now we're gonna save this uh, so it's the same mouth in here and the big eyes okay so the same mouth and the eyes are I think uh, which one of those were no not these ones Alright, um, the big guys, which ones were they? Okay, in case you forget, you're always, you know, like it's always easy to. Uh, was it this? Was it this set of eyes? Nope. This one?
Oh wait. Okay, so let's see. It's still other eyes. I think it I think it's these. And you just have to test, okay? Like but you kind of get the principle, it's not much of a difficult thing. Okay, it's easy to create your own characters. Let's actually see. Uh, let's use enter because it's okay. So this one, and we need this. Uh, we need this mouse. This one is an amazed face when someone actually tries to challenge her, and she'd be something like, "Oh, um, signs of intelligence." I'm always impressed by those. All right. Um, Let's actually create a angry face, okay? The angry face, or mm. a pissed off face, maybe. Uh, this could be a face like yeah right let's actually uh, replace that I don't I don't need the same exact faces and I can always create another type okay so now we need uh, I guess it was this one and uh, this one let's see because I didn't remember exactly okay so let's see it's the same eyes but the mouse was this one okay so import okay then export save good um, now I'm following these usually because I need similar faces in certain cases because uh, I need to check conditions whether the player has killed or not and you know the uh, quotes that so the player can actually read will be based off of such conditions So it will always be a lot more to create. Uh, let's see. So it's the same mouth in here, and I need these eyes, I guess. Actually, let's leave these eyes because you know it's a bit. Uh, no, I think that the face actually is important. Uh, okay, I think it's this one. Alright, export. Yep. So basically we're... O wait, we're almost over. Okay, like this is not much of a thing. And again, uh, this mouth and these eyes. Okay, usually finding the right eyes is uh, the slightly more challenging part. Okay, this one. And I need the uh, wider mouth. Uh, no, not this one. This one. Import. Open. Okay. Export. Um, Alright, so this mouth and these eyes. Uh, there's a little trouble when you want to do this again for other characters, you know. Um, it is preferable that you follow all the steps that I uh, I would present. Uh, because if you do a mistake or something like that... Um, okay, so I actually nailed them. Okay, and I need the mouth, which is this one. Okay, okay. Good. Export. Okay. Now we have created the full face set. You don't necessarily need this. You'll probably need this in case, you know, uh, 
in case you want your character to display multiple faces but if your character is someone who is just some kind of uh, RPG character that gives you some quests you're probably gonna have two or three faces so it's not a point it's not a problem in how many faces you actually make uh, when you're using scripts okay to point at these faces note that these are uh, uh, numbered from zero because arrays in uh, programming always start from zero there are a few situations in which they don't but that's a trickier thing so this face is face zero this one is face one this one is face two this one is face three this one is phase 4, this one is phase 5, phase 6, and phase 7, okay? Now, um, I need to recreate a phase because... Um, hmm, let's see... Um, I think I'll recreate this one, okay? Because I need a face in which, you know, like, there is definitely the uh, standard Mew Me facial expression, okay? Uh, now, this is something that I do uh, last, mainly because... Um, okay, uh, because the last face that you create will also be the face that you will see in your actors. Uh, well, actually not, but... I just want this one to be, uh, you know, the last phase that I can see. And yes, it's just a personal preference. You don't have to do this last phase, but I actually needed, I actually needed that. So the walk animation, you're also gonna have to export it and preferably export it as the same uh, file name, because you want to build this whole uh, image here. Okay, damage character, it's already loaded. You don't need to save that separately. And you also need the battle animation. I also, you know, like create this uh, just in case. And then what you want to do is you want to save settings. Okay. And when you save settings, you will want to save again with the same file name. But remember, when you save settings, this is a JSON file. It's no longer a PNG. I happen to do this mistake. Okay. So, um, that next time when you want to load settings you just load uh, the characters okay I have a lot of characters in here and from time to time I actually uh, did a mistake and I saved these as um, you know JSONs as not JSONs as PNGs so it's not good because you can't load the settings in here so I actually have to recreate the faces for the characters okay Many of those students actually have one or two faces because, well, they'll just be uh, appearing here and there. They're not going to necessarily uh, interact with the player that much. Okay, so that's kind of it. Uh, then when you want to create a character, you go to uh, F9 database, okay? And you create your character in whatever slot. And, you know, you just pick whatever face you want and that's gonna represent them okay now let's actually hit cancel cancel because I don't want to change my characters and all these being said hopefully you like this video hopefully you've uh, learned something basically it's nothing else than you know simple uh, choices okay when you start creating a character from scratch it's basically you choose how you want their faces to look you know it was somewhat trickier for me because I had to preserve a certain uh, type okay so feel free to like and subscribe if you like the type of content I'm creating feel free to ask me several questions on uh, what things you would like me to discuss on and all this being said take care of yourselves and your loved ones you are loved and appreciated Ferenjan board signing out